Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here and welcome back to some more Planet Crafter. So today, oh, <laughs> today is a, a marvelous day because I am finally about to unlock, if I haven't already, the aquarium. Oh, 41.98, and it, it unlocks at 42. Oh, it's gonna happen. We're gonna see what is required for the aquarium. We're gonna build the aquariums, and we're gonna get hopefully our animal score up. Um, we're we, we're doing great on the insects now huge uh huge huge movement on the front there we need to increase our plants too but let's go ahead and let's see what the um what does this guy require circuit board super alley fertilizer tier two um phytoplankton a b and c good thing we have plenty of those we have plenty of everything except for circuit boards and fertilizer tier two actually fertilizer tier two might actually be haha we have plenty of that too all right so what we need is circuit boards actually hold on a second Aquarium tier ones. Uh, wait a second. Yeah, aquarium tier ones have circuit boards. I don't need all the aquariums that we have up top. We're gonna go ahead and just get rid of these guys. All of these, these are gonna be gone. We're gonna utilize these circuit boards in order to, um, well, in order to uh, <laughs> to make our aquariums. So yeah, hopefully you all are having a wonderful day. I'm having a hugely fantastic day. I gotta say, I'm just so excited about everything. Um, I, uh, oh, 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 okay, we're good, we're good. Um, I'm getting over a cold. Everything feels good. We're about to get faster internet. So if you're if uh, if you want to see some live streaming action, twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming. I'm about to get back into the live streaming stuff. I can't wait for that. I'm super excited about that. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff to do in Planet Craft. We got all kinds of fun games coming out. And we, um, I mean, honestly, we're also, if you didn't know, recently we're sponsored by G Fuel now. So huge shout out to uh, them for for partnering up working with with me on that i'm super excited i'm super excited it's like it's awesome you know so use codes you want to give me a check out link down below um all right let's go ahead and let's get this stuff i'm sorry i had to get this sh you, we got it you gotta you gotta you gotta pay the bills before the episode that's just how it is <laughs> um all right so fish eggs let's go and throw those on there let's go ahead and resort that um that was all the fish eggs and then so what else do i need so I need super alloy rods. So I need to keep the fertilizer and the... Uh, we need to keep the fertilizer. Actually, we don't even need the water. Do we not even need the water? That's funny. All right, well, we'll just need the fertilizer and the uh, the chips. So let's see if we can... Hold on, let's go ahead and clear this stuff out. Fertilizer and the chips. We don't need the water. I don't need the fabric. Okay, hold on. I got to get rid of these guys. We've got a lot of we've got a lot of uh, blue buddies in here. I'm gonna go throw them over here into this storage unit temporarily. Oh my gosh, that one's full now too. Oh man, that insect, um, that butterfly farm thing is working phenomenally. I gotta say, even if it's not giving us all the golden butterflies, it's giving us a lot of butterflies. So, all right, so now we've got. We need super alloy rod, a phytoplankton A, B, and C. But you know what? Before we do any of that, shoot. Um, you know what? I want to see how big one is. So let me grab a super alloy rod, and then let me grab one of each phytoplankton. I know I was calling them photoplankton. I know, and I'm sorry. Okay, it is what it is, and I did, I made the mistakes. All right, we all learn from our mistakes sometimes faster than others. Uh, <laughs> okay. So yes, this is approximately that big. So what I'm thinking I want to do here is I actually want to run a hallway out. Um, I want to run a hallway out right here, up upper level. Actually, do I want to do that? Or actually, hold on. Will will can I get one to go in right here? No, I'll go there. Hmm, it's going to have to be an upper level. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to think like how I can make this look decent, you know? Do they actually have to be attached?
It doesn't. It doesn't actually have to be attached. Okay, hold on. Hold on just one second. I have an idea. Let's grab these. What if we don't have them attached to the base? What if we just run uh, these? What if we just continue these here? Oh, those fish farms are going to be in the way. And we need to get rid of those fish farms anyways because we're not going to utilize them. Uh, okay, hold on. So can I get maybe the first one in here? Just kind of, I kind of, kind of just want to see, you know. Um, how's that look? Oh God. Uh, oh, we'd have to have a door. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I don't like that. Um, it does. It works in the water though. can actually go in the water that's actually kind of cool I'm not gonna lie mm, hold on a second let me let me look this over let me think this through because I feel like we have an opportunity to do something kind of cool here okay so I have I think maybe what I want to do um, I think we're gonna run them out this way so if I put the door here and the reason for that is because it lines up almost perfect with the water. So it almost looks like the water is from the outside, but it, it actually kind of is. See how there's like almost two layers of water here? This bottom layer right here is the, is the outside water, but the inside water is above it. So you can't actually, you can't even really tell that it's there, but it's, an, it's still enclosed. So I think... I think that'll work just like that because it looks like it's at the right level. You know what I'm saying? I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm trying to decide if I, how do I want to do this? Because what we could do is we could run it. Uh, we could run it long ways. So it means like I could connect these back to back and we could have to run through like this, or we could connect them this way and I run a hallway um, or we could do a little bit of both. You know what? Let's go sideways first and then long ways. Let's see how many, how far over we can get uh this direction before we do anything else so i'm gonna have to have at least one two three i'm gonna have to have at least four of these i think i think we have to have that and then we can have one more no because connected here requires a full one and a half one so it's gonna need at least enough okay all right, that looks pretty good. So let's see, what else do I need for more of these aquariums? Um, the phytoplankton and the super alloy rods. We have, we've got quite a bit. So let's go ahead and let's grab what we can. Okay, so I've got four aquariums in here, and I feel like that's probably about as long as it's going to get. If I get any longer, we're going to start getting into our field over here. So I'm going to deconstruct that. We're going to leave these connected. Now, uh, we need to go ahead and get our golden fish in here, and I want to kind of see what we got going on here. So we've got oxygen energy plants and insects uh we don't have animals yet because we don't have fish in here so let's see oh we have enough room for three fish oh my gosh that is phenomenal because one golden egg a uh, two golden eggs a three golden eggs actually i don't know if i have enough golden eggs for all of them I don't have enough golden eggs for all of them, but we can always try to make more. Uh, we do have, like I said, we do have the Telos eggs. It's only 100% difference. Um, I guess over to 300% if you did all three, but let's see, one, two, three. Holy moly. Okay, so what's our animals at now? 975. That is a huge, huge upgrade. So like comparing that to this, wait, what? 975 grams per second. Uh, what? Animals 65 per second. Animals 195 per second. What?
The fish farm is better than the aquarium. Well, I mean, okay, the aquarium gives us more oxygen. The fish farm gives us oxygen pressure. Plants, animals is not 195%. This is only 65%. What? That's really interesting. So hold on. Okay, that one golden fish, 975. If I put one golden fish in here, what does it give us? 325. I'm not going to use these. You know what? Hold on a second. What's the difference between. Uh, okay, so this aquarium, right? With, with this aquarium with our green buddy in here, right? What do we got? 16 grams per second. So if I put that in here, you know, I'm actually, so the, the fish farm is actually better than the aquarium. But if I put the green one in here, 260 grams per second. Okay. So that makes sense. Okay. So for whatever reason, I, I actually, I could probably tell you the reason exactly. Um, I unlocked the better thing first so for whatever reason unlocking getting animals okay okay i can understand it so basically what i did is i my overall biomass was so low that when i unlocked animals for the first time i actually got the better thing first because i think by the time you were playing this through, you would probably already have the biomass for the aquarium tier two, or you'd be close. You'd be closer to getting this than you would be this. So in theory, I would have already had these because that makes sense because the, um, if we actually look at, so the biodome tier two, that gives us a right. Hold on. Where's the, is it the biodome or the, where's the butter? It's this one, the butterfly dome that gives us 20 per second, but the butterfly farm gives us 75 and the butterfly farm tier two gives us 475. So this is the worst version of this. Having them outside is definitely better than anything. And then having the upgraded farm. Okay. So maybe eventually we'll get a uh, butterfly farm tier two or a fish farm tier two. But, um, so what I'm going to do is the golden fish are going to stay in these because I do not want to change that for any reason. But what I do want to do is I do want to actually go ahead and grab those, um, those Telos eggs. And we'll throw those in the aquarium tier twos because the aquarium tier two is better than the aquarium tier ones. I have a bunch of aquarium tier ones. So if I can just throw three per aquarium, plus they're pretty cool looking, you know? So we'll just throw these in here for now just to have them. I'm not going to build any more aquarium tier twos though, because I just, they're just not going to be worth it. Um, those are giving us a, a decent amount, but I need to build just fish farms. Fish farms are definitely the way to go. Bioplastic nugget, phytoplankton, a and silk doesn't re really require anything. I can get so much more out of, um, out of the outdoor fish farms than these, but I, you know what, having them here, they look cool. They look cool. I like them. They look neat. So um, I do need to move these farms though. These, these farms right here cause a lot of lag. <laughs> I know that they do. So I actually need to go ahead. We need to move a bunch of these. We need to go ahead and set a bunch out. Cause I've got, I've got all these Telos eggs here. Uh, and actually speaking of, do I have any eggs back at, Oh, you know what? I bet you it's full. Let me go to the waterfall area. We need to actually empty this. I bet you this thing is completely full. And these are probably completely full of phytoplankton, right? Yep, because they couldn't they couldn't empty them out. So, uh, yeah, it'd be nice if this thing could automate like automatically empty every so often, you know? It's like auto empty. I don't know every twenty minutes or something. That'd be kind of cool. Um, all right, so there we go. Darn, you know, I was I don't know why. Like, I got the idea in my head that the um, the aquarium was gonna be like the big thing. That was gonna be the big thing, you know? 
<laughs> it's not. So my animal numbers are going to have to increase, but not via... Not aquariums. It's going to be fish farms. So I need to get a whole bunch of fish farms. We need to go out and set those out. Man, kind of a bummer. Uh, let's go ahead and let's do this. Let's see. What's my inventory look like? So I don't really need those. And honestly, like these aquariums in here, these are cool. Um, I'll probably keep some of these into indoor aquariums. Uh, well, no, because I don't really need to. What do we need for these guys? Phytoplankton A, silk, and bioplastic. Now let's go, let's go get some of those. Let's go release some more fish. Let's get our um, fish numbers up here a little bit more. And then uh, we'll go from there because let's see. Let's just dump everything. Let me grab some food. And then let me grab. So we need bioplastic, phytoplankton A, and then silk. How many farms are we going to try to do? I mean, we need to do a lot. So one, two, three, four, five. That'd be five farms. I don't know if I can hold enough for five stuff, though. One, two, three, four, five. And then phytoplankton A. One, two, three, four, five. Eggs. One, two. That's fine. We'll just come back. You know what? Let's just go ahead to, uh, let's head to the waterfall first. Since we're over here, might as well. Uh, it'll be super easy to get this fish farm. We'll get one there. Put that in there. I don't want to get super laggy. Let's get another fish farm. Maybe right there. And there. Perfect. Okay. So let's go. What are these generating? 780 percent see like that's that's a good number that's a good number we just need more of them okay so we got our fish farms going i kind of wish the fish would spread out a little bit further away from the um the fish farm because like they seem to hover right there like it'd be kind of cool if they would like actually like fill a body of water but then again it might be it might be like a it might be kind of hard to to determine you know the body of water like if they'd spread out, you know, and like fill this like whole area, but you know what? It's cool. I like it. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see if we can get some more of these going. So we were at what? 97. So we're at 13. See, we're looking, we're getting, we're getting things done now. We're getting some, we're getting some serious stuff done. Let's see. Where do we want to go? Um, I don't think I can do anything at the golden area, the kitchen. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the kitchen. Uh, we'll go ahead and pop out this way. We'll throw some fish right in here. This area could use some fish. Ta-da! <laughs> Very nice. So I'm actually out of the Telos eggs now, which is surprising. Actually, we should go through and delete the other aquariums that we don't need, and then we can get our Telos eggs back. Because we could also throw some aquarium. We could also the fish. Oh my gosh, throw some fish farms into this water right there too. All right, let's go run. Let's go run a couple uh, fish right over here. I got two more eggs, and enough for two more farms. I have enough for I think four more farms. But we'll go throw some. We're using the telos eggs pretty much everywhere because they're just kind of like the um, they're the easiest ones to get that are actually pretty high value. So we'll throw one over there. We'll throw one over here. I'm trying to spread them out so that way we're not causing any like hot, hot lag spots. And then we'll throw these ones in there. Because I think if we spread everything out, I think it'll cause the, the game to run much better. I also need to move my butterfly farms. I'm aware of that as well. Because having all these butterfly farms over here is <laughs> not good. All right. All of these aquariums in these two rooms are gone. They went a uh, bye bye because they were, uh, you know, I just I feel I feel like they're causing a lot of lag too. To be completely honest, so what we need to do is uh, basically go get some more fish farms split out. Now I'm gonna go ahead. I'm also going to I'm gonna kind of clean my inventory out here a little bit if I can. Oh no, things are getting full. Not good. Um, where did all those come from? I have no idea. Super Alice should be no. Oh my gosh. 
Um, okay, I need to clear my inventory out. But I want to go ahead and I want to move these farms out of here um, because, or not necessarily out of here, but maybe spread them out because these all right here cause a lot of lag. Definitely causing a lot of lag. All right, so I got rid of those. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just set those out anywhere. Kind of just kind of getting them away from the, the whole one area. Okay, so we have two. We just have two here. Um, and then I have a couple, you know, one over there, one like way over there. That'll work. And then what we've got is enough for two more. And I only have one egg. So let's go and grab another egg out of here. We'll go place this somewhere. Perfect. Okay, so we got some more. We got some fish in the uh, in the desert area. Very nice. Golden fish in the oasis. Hmm. I, w I wonder why my game is so laggy over here. <laughs> Look at all the butterflies. Oh my gosh, I need to fix that. Okay, so we're looking good. Let's go look at our numbers. So we built a few new things. Um, animals are up to 17,606, which I think we were at 7,000 before. So that is a good increase. We can still increase by building more uh, fish farms. Fish farms are the way to go. The aquariums, they're cool. I actually really like the aquariums. I think the aquariums are really neat. Um... Oh, there's like algae in here. Look at that. Oh, they, it did say it was going to have oxygen stuff. So, yeah, super cool. I really like these aquariums, but unfortunately, they don't produce the numbers that we need for, uh, you know, for everything. So we'll just have a few of these in here. They're pretty cool. They're pretty neat. I like them. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, next episode, I am thinking we're going to do some optimizations of the base because my base is running a little rough here. Um, there's some things that we just need to clean up, organize, we can upgrade, we can just get rid of straight out, straight up, we just don't need anymore, things like that, you know, um, just clean up, and uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do next next episode, so um, hopefully you guys wanna stick around for that. If you do, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.